This week's EKB TV Game of the Week features the Pikeville Panthers and the East Ridge Warriors in a 59th district matchup as the regular season winds down. The Panthers currently leading the race in the 59th district at 6-1, that one loss coming from East Ridge earlier in the season. The Warriors currently stand at 3-2 as we get underway from Pikeville High School. Michael Kahn known to drive inside, basket is up and in. And then the Panthers with the same idea. Kyle Watkins in control with the ball. Pass to Connor Reisner and the Panthers answer. Next East Ridge possession. Pass is deflected and Wyatt Battle will take it all the way to the house. Panthers on the move. But Michael Kahn flying past defenders. He's so fast. Over the head. No look pass to Justin Potter. What a move. Warriors tie it at 7. And then just before the first quarter is up. Wyatt Battle breaking ankles. Pulls up and the Panthers take a two-point lead heading into the second quarter. Wyatt Battle ending the night with 21 points. Pikeville's fan section with some moves tonight. Check out those jean shorts. Moving to the second quarter, coming out, firing from the pocket. Kyle Watkins, Warriors quick to respond. Chris Bevins from the opposite pocket. Basket is good, but then Kyle Watkins feeling comfortable from the pocket and the Panthers take a seven-point lead. Back and forth, it's Eastridge's Chris Bevins again with another three-pointer, this time from the top of the key. And then with every basket, or I should say three-pointer, there was an answer as the Panthers grasp a steady lead and they hold on to it. Final score, Pikeville 72, Eastridge 38. In our EKB TV Game of the Week, this week you can remember to watch the replay of the game tomorrow at 6.30 and Sunday at 9.30 a.m. and 4.30 p.m. right here on EKB TV or EKBTV.com. Now heading to Johnson County for a 57th district matchup as the Painesville Tigers hosted the Johnson Central Golden Eagles. Leading the region at 20 and 6, Eagles move on up. Jacob Rice pulls up for the basket, but the Tigers know how to respond. Mason Moore driving down court sends it to open Ryan Moore for the basket. But Johnson Central's Mason Blair, a scoring machine for the Eagles. The ball bounces around at the rim, but it finally goes in and Johnson Central will gain a steady lead. Cole Kreish trying to maneuver around the defense. Ball bounces off his foot, saved by Mason Moore, and Seth Williams will take it to the house. But Johnson Central's Mason Blair was there to answer three-point baskets, nothing but net as he pulls up. Eagles win it. Mason Blair scores 47 points tonight. Final score, Johnson Central 106, Paintsville 77.